everyone, welcome back to my channel. So currently here, I've got a few products beside me. Now, before I tell you the story, I'm just gonna jump into the haul because I mean, that's probably why I clicked on it. So pretty much what I did was I ordered a whole heap of Bath & Body Works stuff. <laughs> we can't order Bath & Body Works online from the US site or the, wait, no, there is no Australian site. So what I did was I used a shipping courier again, but I mean, Damn it, I've got this thing where if I look on Bath & Body Works site, there is like something that's inside me that just wants all this stuff and I, I've i got like no limit. I literally just can't tell myself no. So that was bloody annoying. Okay guys, so of course, if you watched my previous Bath & Body Works haul, best believe I got this Summer Boardwalk candle. Now this baby, I am so, so obsessed with. Like I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. This scent is amazing. Like this is like the strongest candle throw that I've ever, ever dealt with. Well, is that the right word? Super strong scented throw. Now, the glass house, um, I love the vanilla and caramel. I think that's, I forgot what it's called. Now, that one is amazing as well. It's just the fact that I had a really bad experience with that. So, I was doing my laundry, and while I was doing my laundry, my candle was burning, and all of a sudden, I heard, like, this massive smash of glass, and I was like, oh, my God, someone got in the house. But, no, it was literally my glass house candle. It just, like, shattered into pieces. Now, you, it's something that you would think they'll happen to like a $2 candle, but no, so yeah, I'm just not going to light any glass house candles anymore, I mean, okay. But any time that I've lit a Bath & Body Works candle, it's never like shattered on me. Fingers crossed, knock on wood, that never happens. It's just an amazing scent, like I cannot, I cannot, I cannot, it's so good. For anybody that doesn't know what it smells like, it's um the fragrance, no, it's uh, caramel glazed popcorn, Warm taffy apples, salty sweet cream, and um, yeah, that's all it is. So, enough for this candle. I could talk about this candle all day. <laughs> but, I mean, then we would never get through the haul. Of course, that was literally like the first thing I put into my cart. I'm like, I was gonna get two, but then I was like, okay, you need to chill, honey. Then I got a few scents. Now, so there's a collection of three. So, the whole line of these are called the Fragrance Experiment. And I think these are supposed to be more, more of like a perfume type fragrance mist of theirs. So, when I first saw these, I was like, why is the packaging so cute? So, there's three different scents. I'll go through them now. Rose, white, and black. So, these are three different scents. They're not the same at all. It says bold and mysterious, sophisticated, daring, and chic. Now, 100% I agree with this. It's so... It's something like I have never smelled before, but damn, it is so good. If there is a perfume to this, um, I would definitely, definitely buy it. No regrets. If there is any perfume that smells just like this, definitely going to get it. Um, it's just so different. Like, it's so mysterious, as it says. Like, it's so different. Like, I don't know. I can't explain what it smells like. It's not like a typical girl scent. Most of their scents you can kind of tell is a Bath & Body Works scent. Just like, you know, Victoria's Secret scents smell the same-ish, you know what I mean? Like the packaging is so cute. The only unfortunate thing was my packaged, um, my packaging, sorry, got damaged. I shall go through that with you guys after the little haul. And now this is white. Um, this one says graceful and radiant, harmonious, ethereal and sheer. Okay, this one is definitely more of a refreshing scent. Like, it's, I don't know, it smells so peaceful and calm. I don't know, this one smells like something I've smelled before, but I can't put my finger on it. I don't know. I don't want to start guessing things that aren't it, because I could be totally off. Okay, Rose is so adorable. Oh, I love it. It's so good. It smells so good. It smells like feminine. Okay, so this one says it's alluring and feminine, blushing, modern, and playful. Definitely agree with that. Literally, these... The way they describe them are literally what I would say they are, like exactly what they are. These words fit perfectly with them. So none of these are fruity. It's more like, um, they're just literally like type of perfumies. Perfumies, I'm like, what? Perfumes that you could find in like the shops. Okay, and the last fragrance mist that I got is the Fiji Pineapple Palm. Now, I'm pretty shattered about this. Like, look how much is gone. Um, and that's how it came, guys. Nevertheless, this is so yummy. It's a typical Bath & Body Works. I don't know. I don't want to say, actually, why am I saying typical? It's just like, it's so fruity. The next thing I got was a body scrub. Now, this one's called Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. These apparently have pure honey in them. It just looks like this. Cute. Okay, so this is pure honey. This has exfoliating sugar crystals, sunflower seed oil, and sweet almond oil. 
Now, I haven't used this yet. It smells pretty good. Um, it's not like the most strongest scent that I've ever smelled before, but I hope that this rubs me good. But um, we'll see. I'll give it a go tonight and we'll see how that goes. The next few things I got were body butters. Now, this one is the Salted Caramel Apricot. That looks like that one. This is what makes me buy them. They literally put a cute sticker on it and I'm like, I gotta buy it. Okay, and this one is Pumpkin Latte. They're literally the cutest little packages ever. Someone hold me back. Okay, that does smell like a very, very subtle pumpkin latte, if you would say. Salty caramel apricot, I don't know. It smells like apricot to me. Very faint, creamy apricot. Okay, um, I'm not too sure about how I feel about these, but if these moisturize my skin, I'll be happy. I buy a lot of um, like lotions from Bath & Body Works and I never cease, cease, oh my God. I never seem to use them. So I'll try to use these guys. If not, uh, <laughs> I don't know. All right, the next items I got were body oils. Now I have never tried a Bath & Body Works body oil before, so I had to get three. The first one I got was the Champagne Toast Glow On Body Oil. Now I used this the other day, and um, it's probably not the most shimmeriest body oil ever, but I mean, it's still, it still does an okay job. It smells good. It smells yummy. I wish I wanted... So actually, I wanted to grab the, fav the fragrance mist of this, but it literally just sold out as I was choosing it. I'll show you guys on my shoulder, like how much of a shimmer it gives out. So you know, if you were thinking of buying this product, it could just be the oil that's making me like shiny. I don't know, it's okay. But not like the shimmeriest shimmer ever gone round. But it smells good, so that's okay. All right, next one I got was the Coco Shea Honey Ultra Conditioning Lightweight Body Oil. I think it's focusing on my hand. Is it focusing? I don't know, but yeah, that's what it looks like. It's very subtle, a very subtle smell. But I used that the other day and it fells, and it fells. Oh my God, do I even English? Um, And it feels nice and smooth on my skin yeah okay that's literally the last thing i got now okay <laughs> but this is the almond and vanilla essential oils body oil with olive oil oh my god olive oil so this packaging is probably the cutest to me like i love this um okay so i used this on my butt the other day and it made my butt nice and soft now i don't know why i put it on my butt i just decided to put it on my butt this one smells the best it smells so yummy Dang, I am. Okay, so now I'm going to tell a little story time if anybody's interested on shipping couriers and whatnot and stuff like that. Originally, I shipped all my Bath & Body Works goodies to Shipper2.com and um, with Shipper2, they have like a prohibited items list and whatnot. I just did not think, okay, well, I just did not think. And um, what happened was, I think these ones were flammable. These say flammable on them. So I think the shipping company sort of had a mini heart attack for the declaration you had to put i had to put these on there and um had to pay a special processing fee now i thought this special processing fee was going to like cover it you know like whatever put it in a safe box or like whatever they had to do to make it safe to be flown to australia so what happened was i put them the i paid the fee i paid the, the shipping and whatnot and um it declined like it just it didn't go through and I was like, okay, maybe there was a mistake or maybe I just misread something. So I did it again. I tried to put it through and a couple of days later it declined again. So I was like, what is going on? Like, why is my stuff not sending? So that kind of just really uh, made me a bit mad because I was like, um, I don't know how long it was. It was probably like two weeks already that this process was happening and I was contacting Shipper2 and I don't know, I mean, they tried to help, I guess, like, when I would chat with them, like, online, because on the website, um, you can just chat with them online now, and I did that, and I just, uh, I don't know, like, I feel like they tried to help, but they didn't really help at all. Um, they would just say, like, open up a ticket, which is, like, an inquiry, and, um, we'll get back to you, or whatever it is, so I opened up a ticket, and I was like, why is my stuff not sending? Um, I paid a special processing fee, I thought that was going to cover it, but obviously not. Tell me why you, um, sorry, like, why can't you guys send it? I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know. I don't think I got a reply back to that one. I think my ticket was closed. But before that, I was like, I'm sorry, like, why is my stuff not being sent? I don't think that anybody knew what was going on. Um, they're like, oh, yeah, we'll just get back to you. Oh, we'll find out what's wrong. 
blah, 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 but no one got back to me and I had no idea what was going on. So I was like, ah, okay. So what happened was for the whole month of January, I purchased these items like the 1st of Jan or like the 5th of Jan or something early in January. And then I think it received at the Shipper 2 warehouse, like, you know, the next week or something. So let's just say the 10th of Jan, they arrived at the Shipper 2 warehouse. And ever since then, I was trying to send it to me and I couldn't do that because it just wouldn't let me do it. So then I, yeah, I was inquiring them, but blah, blah. so I gave up. I was literally like, you know what? I'm just going to send it to a shipping courier that I know sends me like fragrance mist and allows that stuff to go through and whatnot. When they received the package, they were like, oh, you've got a lot of like substance like around your packaging, like, like what was in here? Like it's just random like dirt. I don't know what it is. And um, they're like, oh, and also one of your bottles are leaking because the lid's not on properly or something like that. They fixed that up for me and they gave me a whole new box, which I am 100% thankful for. I didn't even say like get a new box, but I guess maybe it wouldn't have passed. Yeah, so they packed me a whole new box. I was like, can you please put bottle, bubble wrap and like just make sure everything's safe and, and whatnot. And they did that unless it was just from my previous box. But anyways, um, they definitely just took care of my stuff more. I do believe that my packaging got ruined with Ship It 2. I do not think GoSend did this because I literally got my stuff, repacked it and sent it out like the next day. That was how fast they were. I just paid shipping and they packed it and sent it. And like, so it literally took like two days, two or three days to get to Australia, which is like what I expected in the first place, like to buy these and then get them. But I didn't get them the first time with Shipper 2, so GoSend will always be my go-to shipping courier company now. I know in my last video that I said I went with Shipper 2, and I did, but maybe if you're getting candles and whatnot, that's fine. But if you want fragrance mist, GoSend allowed that. So, like, hop on the bandwagon. I really need to chill. I mean, I don't need any more, like, fragrance mist or, like, body essentials, like, you know, body lotions and stuff. But I mean, uh, they were having a sale, so I literally went insane. I mean, not that insane, but I still went kind of insane. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Thank you for sticking around if you watched the whole thing. Thank you for watching this video in any way. <laughs> Thank you for spending a few minutes with me, guys. I appreciate it. <laughs> if there is any Bath & Body Works products that you've purchased and totally recommend, please let me know in the comments. If you want to see more, definitely give me a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video, which should hopefully be soon. Bye.